The last time Johns Hopkins came to the Noma was 1991, and they saw Charlie Lockwood of the Orange draw first blood. Syracuse had a 10-9 lead in the third quarter, but Brendan Cody came back to tie the game at 10-10. Then Hopkins scored two more goals to take a 12-10 lead. In the third quarter, Matt Ryder's move and diving shot put Syracuse within one at 12-11. In the fourth quarter, Johns Hopkins ran off five unanswered goals, Ryan Lukat scoring here, and soon after, the Blue Jays of Johns Hopkins were celebrating an 18-12 win, one of only four schools to beat Syracuse in the Dome. Last year at Franklin Field, the temperature was well over 100 degrees. In the NCAA semifinal as Tony Seaman locked horns once again with Syracuse's Roy Simmons. Early on, Syracuse's Dom Finn made a nifty roll dodge and scored to tie the game at two all. But this was a game of spurts. Johns Hopkins ran off three unanswered goals, including this one by Brian Lukatz to take a 14 to 13 lead. But Syracuse had the final answer. Eight of them, as a matter of fact, eight unanswered goals, and the Orangemen went on to defeat Johns Hopkins 21 to 16 to earn a spot in the national championship game. Super Sports, a production of Adelphia Cable Communications, presents Syracuse University Lacrosse. Today it's number four against number three. The Johns Hopkins Blue Jays, 10 and two, meeting the 8-2 Syracuse Orangemen. And hello again, everybody. Dave Cohn along with Dale Drypulcher as Syracuse and Johns Hopkins close out their respective seasons here in the Carrier Dome. And Dale, anything less than a trip back to the national championship would mean a disappointing season for both schools. You know, you're right. It really doesn't get any better than this. You and I are on the, on the midfield stripe, and uh, these two teams are going at it. Tradition abounds, and both teams, as you said, will not be satisfied unless they're in that national championship game, and they'd like to face each other. They have done that four times in the past decade, each team winning two national championships. Hopkins comes in six wins in a row, Syracuse seven wins in a row. A key part of this game will be the face-off, which starts every game. Steve Vecchione, very good for Johns Hopkins. Yeah, we're going to see it early. Vecchione's got 65% on the year. That's excellent. And Fazy for Syracuse, not a bad face-off man at all, but Syracuse is concerned about them able to control the face-off and the tempo of the game. So it's going to start right off early. Syracuse is going to see what they can do to negate the, uh, the face-off prowess of Hopkins. Towson State did hold Vecchione only 29% in the last game. Syracuse has a tendency to take a lot of penalties, put them man down quite often, but they've kind of lived on the edge all season long. Well, they sure have, and that's their style. They, they knock people down, they take some penalties. I don't think they should take as many as they did against Pennsylvania up in the double figures, 12, 13 penalties, but I think they're going to still play their style, but I think they'll play a little smarter within themselves, hopefully, for this game. A couple of words about the goalies. Chris Saran, one of the best in the country for Syracuse, and only a freshman, Jonathan Marcus for Johns Hopkins. Well, he's really no longer a freshman. At this part in the season, obviously, he is on the roster, but he's experienced, he's good, Syracuse knows he's good, and, and of course, they like Saran as well as anybody in the country. Syracuse is playing this game against a couple of interesting backdrops. It's graduation weekend. A former Syracuse All-American, a Hall of Famer, Chief Oren Lyons, will be the commencement speaker for Syracuse University. He'll be presented by Roy Simmons. Also, one Syracuse player, Fred Amaya, has been declared ineligible as Syracuse is conducting an internal investigation. It's up to the NCAA to restore his eligibility, so we will not see Fred Amaya tonight. We will see the opening face right after this. And the lacrosse faithful have turned out on a Friday night in the Dome to close out the 1993 regular season to watch Syracuse battle Johns Hopkins, one of the great rivalries in all of college sports. The Blue Jays, these are the original Blue Jays. That's long, right. Long before Toronto ever came along and, of course, won a world championship, the Blue Jays have been the Yankees of the sport. The biggest name in the history of college lacrosse. Homewood Field in Baltimore, the home of Johns Hopkins, the Yankee Stadium of lacrosse. And now the team's eyeball, handshake, and uh, we'll head to the respective sides of the field to get things underway. And the all-important face-off for Tony Seaman and his Johns Hopkins Blue Jays. Tony never did beat Syracuse while coaching at Penn, but he's had pretty good success since uh, coming to Johns Hopkins. And we're underway. 
As Syracuse wins the face, Andy Pusha feeds the crease and a goal immediately by number 11, Jamie Archer. Well, we talked about how important the face-off is. They didn't send Fazy out, they sent Pusha out. Pusha does not have as many repetitions, but he's got a little better average, just under 60%. And what he did was, he went out and got the face-off, dumped it off to Jamie Archer, and Archer takes a one-hopper past Marcus, and that's one for one. And they start right back where we started off, back in the face-off area. And that goal coming just six seconds into the game. Here's Vecchione winning the face-off and scooping it up, making the move now on Andy Kusha. Now sending back behind. Where it's played. And a settled offense by Johns Hopkins. And a move to the cage and a shot and a time score. Or is it outside? No, it's a goal. And Johns Hopkins has tied the game up after only 14 seconds. Reardon, a six foot four attack man, comes right back in, beats Saran. Jerry watch, Reardon. Watch Reardon right there. He's six foot four. He's going down. He goes offside. And he beats Saran. That number 41, Tully, out there on defense. Tully, the graduate student, just back into action, and he gets beat by a pretty good player. Yeah, but it, it, more importantly, he gets a start. But yeah. uh, very experienced. Tully's very experienced and, and pretty big. And as I said, Reardon is 6'4", so there's a little bit of strategy in the matchup. Syracuse won that faceoff on a penalty, so they will get the ball back. John Barr has it now, number 30. On the far side, Syracuse will work from behind. Here's Matt Ryder, Syracuse's leading goal scorer, backing off. And overshooting his man on the sideline. Syracuse hustling to regain possession. Lockwood has it. Lockwood now faces his man, dodges right, switches hands, and whip it across, and even with a cage. Quick stick attempt by Lockwood. Syracuse will keep possession. That's Steve Bettinger, actually, who's in the slot number 12. And the Orange put it back in play. 1-1 one, one game. Explosive start by Syracuse and then Johns Hopkins. There's the isolation for Ryder. Switching hands and scoring. 38 consecutive games now in which Matt Ryder has scored a goal. And the Orangemen take a 2-1 lead. Well, they thought it might be a score fest. He beats Sullivan. Watch 37. He rolls inside. He's beating Sullivan right there. And he switches hands. Nice job. You see it, watch. He goes back left hand. There he's beating him there. There's no help. He was so close he could get no slide, no help, and uh, makes it 2-1 for Syracuse. All right, let's check the face again, Dale. Looks like Fazy. Fazy out there, number 35 against Vecchioni. And Johns Hopkins comes away with it. Long stick has it. They had Beardsley up on the wing with the big stick and uh, on the faceoff, so. Here's Piccola being chased by Kugavan. He went around the pick. I thought he was going to get picked off. Now Tully defending, number 41. Missed most of the season because of his graduate work. Here's a shot and a score again by Reardon. And for the second time, he has tied the game, this time at two. Terry Reardon matched up again with Tully. Tully lost his footing, went down, and Reardon got the shot. Watch, here he is. Six foot four, he's got some height. Moves back in, takes him down, and Brian Tully so far has not been able to stop Terry Reardon as he puts in two. We've had four goals scored in, what, a minute and 43 seconds. Now, Pusha time, back out yep. for the face. Pusha is number five, Fazy's number 35, Vecchione is 40. You don't have to worry about their face off, man. Hopkins, that is. Vecchione moving on Pusha. Waiting for somebody else to come on. Now Reardon feeding behind. Beardsley now on Reardon. Piccola has it. A feed to the top of the slot. Vecchione scores. And just like that, Johns Hopkins has taken a 3-2 lead on the goal by Steve Vecchione. Vecchione takes an in-close shot. Vecchione, long, see this, a little problem with some footing. And Vecchione took advantage of Pusha, not able to get over and get stick on stick. Watch. You'll see the move. The move. Watch Pusha slip. 
Not able to get there, and Saran not able to track it down. That's very rare. Vecchi only, only has four goals on the year, and Hopkins leads it now 3-2. to two. Here's Fazy. Nice move by Fazy. He got the ball out and then clamped it under his stick and gets a faceoff. I think that's going to even him up at three apiece in the faceoff department. Syracuse down by a goal. It was a legal push, and it's taken away by Sullivan. Now Syracuse not applying pressure, so Hopkins brings it up. And here come the Blue Jays on the move. This is Tim Colbert. They get it down in the attacking zone quickly. Piccola now. Moving against Kugavan. They give him some room. They got a jump out of the box. And a shot saved, saved. that time by Saran. First time he's got a stick on it. And Hopkins will keep it. First save for either team, and Saran came up with it. They got a jump out of the substitution area, and uh, he took a shot, but Saran stopped it. Matt Jackson was the man who came flying off from the sideline. Here's how they set it up from the end zone. That's Dave Marr, freshman attackman. He's an extra attacker, number 13. There's Piccola. Look at all the room he gets to operate one on one. Hope checked away by Kugavan. And he's going to try to oh, smother him, but he there. gets beat on the sideline. Now it's almost like an extra man opportunity, yeah. and that's the result. A goal by Jackson, and Johns Hopkins has taken a 4-2 to two lead. Five shots, four goals. Saran only one save. He saw Kugavan get beat. He tried to apply the body outside, and now that's a save Saran would normally make. He did not do it. He's a little tight, I think, and that's the good shot, no doubt about it. But uh, he's a man who can really concentrate, but uh, it's a 4-2 game and a timeout. And Syracuse, after jumping out to that quick 1-0 lead, finds themselves down 4-2, and the Orange men have taken a timeout. Well, I think they want to tell him, you know, calm down and, and, and talk to the defense a little bit. Don't get beat way out there. Make sure you can sink back. Keep your body between him and the goal because, Dave, as you alluded to, it's almost an extra man situation when you, you go down like that. The man gets a break, and uh, they're able to, to get the ball in an unsettled situation. This is a high, highly skilled game, a very offensive game, and it's, it's almost like a basketball game where you play in spurts. And it's so early yet in the game, you can't afford to lose your composure. This is the final regular season game. We'll have more NCAA lacrosse action in the quarterfinal round. We suggest you check your local listings for the time and place in your area. There's three minutes and 17 seconds gone in the game. We have six goals <laughs> It's scored. amazing. Faceoffs even at three apiece. Fazy out against Vecchion. And oh. this time Fazy picks it right up. He's on the move. Will he shoot? He passes. They get it in close. And that time nice extra save. pass. Steve Bettinger's shot. Here's a ground ball. Oh. Up and put in by Jamie Archer. Talk about being in the right spot at the right time. He steals it from Marcus. And we're going to have a nice real-time look at this from the faceoff because watch what Fazy does. Watch the sprint. Watch the... Uh, uh, look at him go. And now he's looking. Pass to the left. Look for Ryder. Maybe we can do it again. Or for Archer. Ball's not controlled. Goes down. Watch Marcus think he has it, but taken cleanly by Archer. And he just scoots it by for goal number three. Somebody else actually knocked this ball out of the stick, I think, of a defenseman, and then Archer took it away from the goalie. Marcus uh, came out to, to grab it, and uh, he lost it. This time, Vecchione wins it in a 4-3 to three game. What a start. What a pace. Hopkins by one. Hopkins with the ball now. Peter Jacobs is 24. And he's giving it up now to Vecchione, moving on John Barr. Outside, Brian Kelly. So they're really isolating. See the four guys there on the side? Well, they got an isolate on the far side of the field on Fazy with a short stick. And now they bring in Cavalero, and he's picked up by Barr. Todd Cavalero, an upstate New York product. This is just one-on-one -on -one here. Fazy, got to guess which way he's going to shoot and take away that side. He did it that time. You got to keep your weight because if he gets by, you can get the shot away. Now they try to double team him with Kugavan. Now there's a switch. Yep. And the crowd likes that uh, defensive effort. Now they feed it up top, and Hopkins will run their offense again. 
They run a lot. They, they generally run a lot of passes. People on the crease and do a lot of passing. Fazy defending on Piccola, and that shot is going to be retained by Johns Hopkins. Cavalero there to, to get it for Hopkins. Cavalero is out of Corning, New York, Corning East. Boy, that school has produced a couple of excellent players over the years. Isn't Darcangelo family from there? Yeah. There's a save. And Hopkins keeps it again, despite the efforts of the Syracuse player, John Barr. Enzo look at it now as Hopkins puts it in play. We have played less than five minutes of this game. And it's 4-3 Hopkins. There's Cavallaro with a spin and another spin and a back off. And another spin and a shot and a score. That's just one on one. What they've been doing so far is stacking four guys on one side of the crease or the other and then using one on one moves and it's just an isolation and Cavallaro on bar and watch out in counter out in fake now put on the speed back inside roll dodge right hand shot and he goes high and beats Saran. Five to three now Hopkins. Vecchione. Pusha gets picked off illegally. Moving pick there wasn't Wolfman, it? absolutely, yeah. You can't do that. And now uh, a second penalty. A, a flag, I think, on a... Unsportsmanlike against Johns Hopkins. Delay a game. Yeah. So that'll cost him 30 seconds. Somebody did something. The official didn't like delaying the game, and he just called it. So Syracuse will have a first man-up opportunity. 30 seconds. Let's see who's in the who's in the hole there. For Hopkins, it's uh, Jackson. No, excuse me. Roy Colsey on the move now. Syracuse man up. Bettinger sends it behind. There's Becky Owen in the box, by the way. He's the man who. Bettinger with it now. Steve Bettinger up to Colsey and a low shot by Lockwood. The ricochet. Colsey digs for it. He had it momentarily. So did Bettinger. It's coming out, and Syracuse should have it. Tom Finn tells his teammate to move off. He's got it. Good talk between he and Lockwood. Ryder playing it from behind. Back to Bettinger. Even now. Misplay. Oh, pass. And as it rolls across, somebody stepped over. The line was offside. Against uh, Hopkins. They put the foot on the line. That's all you got to do. Looked like Pacola. So uh, Syracuse will get the ball. Lockwood will take it right from the midfield line. Tony Seaman pleads his case to no avail. Lockwood has it now. Went by Colsey. Syracuse is trailing five to three. We have just over nine minutes to go in the first quarter. Now they, they kind of use a real aggressive zone defense. And that's what they're doing right there. And then they're packing it back in and not letting you get a good shot at the goal. Bounce feed. Stolen Knocked away. Knocked out of his stick. And here comes the transition game of Johns Hopkins now. Hopkins leading it five to three. Matt Jackson on the move, giving it up. He'll head to the bench. Now coming onto the field quickly. A Hopkins opportunity. A feed in oh. front, and just like that, that man Reardon scores again. They left him all alone at point blank range. His third goal of this first quarter. Hopkins now six, Syracuse three. I'll tell you what made the play. Marchant, Marchant, 16, coming out of the box. Beat a Syracuse defender. He drew a man over. They were shifting. They were shifting defensively, trying to pick everybody up. Right there, you see him shifting, and that left him wide open. Reardon on the crease, and uh, Syracuse down by three. He snuck right in behind Rick Beardsley. He was playing an area. Well, they had problems coming in out of the penalty, out of the substitution area. Don Finn with a head of steam. Six to three, the biggest lead of the game now for Johns Hopkins. One thing I've noticed so far, Hopkins midfielders on a fast break show good speed, get down and play good defense against Syracuse and have turned back a couple of fast breaks and make Syracuse run that patterned offense, which they can do, but they really like that transition game. Fast break stop. Game was tied at one, and it was tied at two. Now here comes Ryder on the move. And a shot. Quick one. Flag down. 30 second penalty, I'm sure. No, it is a slash, so that'll be a minute. Let's see. 
Oh, that, right, that's why I saw it hit the arm, but it hit the face on the way down. So Burke will sit for a minute. So next man up, number two opportunity, second opportunity for Syracuse. And Syracuse, watch the zone defense that Hopkins uses. They really slide well. They move very quickly, and they're tight. They, they make you take that shot and going to have to go through somebody to get it there. Here's a quick feed and a miss by Bettinger. Lockwood's back to play it. Seven and a half to go in this first quarter. Colsey switching hands and scoring. Oh. A quick switch of the hands by Roy Colsey. I don't know if Marcus is expecting him to shoot that quickly. It was a little jump shot. He went up in the air. Watch Colsey. He's real strong. Watch. Up in the air. Overhand shot. And he had him down low and bounced it up above. So a man up opportunity for Syracuse. Not squandered as they score on Colsey's jump shot from about 10 yards out or about five yards out. So now it is a six to four game. Keeping track of those faceoffs at 5-5 now. And Syracuse gets this one for the moment. Now nice job by back. Vecchione. Nice job. He stayed with it. Hopkins has it. They misplay in their own end. Malika. Burke goes over for Hopkins. The big stick. And loose play at the midfield area. Now Hopkins quickly gets it down into the box. Here's Brian Kelly, number four. Sneaking on now is Cavalero. He's had probably the prettiest goal of this game, the three spin move goal. That was just one on one. They're doing it again. Peter Jacobs with a galloping start. Save. Saved by Saran. The rebound. Oh. And a score by Piccola. He took a check afterwards from Beardsley. But another score by Johns Hopkins. It is now 7 to 4. Watch this. This is just a one on one. This is speed. No slide. No help. Well, at the last minute they slide, but they're not able to get there. Makes the save, but can't control the rebound. And a nice little touch pass as Piccola puts it by Saran. So he tracked down the first one, but the rebound put him down. 11 goals and we're not even out of the first period. Fazy on the back feed to Finn. He tried to shovel it ahead and he's successful. Now here comes Syracuse on the move. And a score! Chad Smith had the helmet knocked right off his head, but that has brought the crowd to its feet and perhaps put some life back in Syracuse. The Army transfer, Chad Smith. Big stick midfielder, he's been in, he's on the wing, and they tap the ball over to him. He's got speed, he's just got to put the stick out and protects it. Not a, an especially hard shot, coming off the side of the stick. No, he goes top right between the legs of Marcus and Smith. Comes up to 7-5. That's the fourth goal of the year for Chad Smith. That is a push. Yeah, they'll get the ball if, if Hopkins touches. It's a play on situation. And, and now things getting a little frisky on the sideline. And that was uh, perhaps uncalled for at the end there by the Syracuse player. That might draw the flag. That was Hans Schmidt. I, I, but he, he was trying to pull a stick out. Somebody was holding on to a stick. They, they may penalize both guys to keep the game under control. Let's see what happened. Right in front of the Hopkins bench. Yeah. Syracuse definitely had the advantage of a call going against Hopkins. Yep. Yep. I think both guys uh, unsportsmanlike, so they'll reface the ball. I think Hans Schmidt, 44, he's a, he's a big stick guy. Now watch, ball goes down, and they're trying to get it. All right, now he's pushing. Now there he's holding, he's holding on to his stick. He's trying to get rid of his stick. And then he got pushed at the end by Burke, so. So in a seven to five game, with 6.22 to go in the first quarter, you know this is gonna be a long, long affair. So Malika, I guess is the guy they said finally was charged with the unsportsmanlike for Hopkins. So they'll both be a man down, even, but a man down. And now they'll reface. There was no possession. So what they're going to do is face the ball down in the Hopkins end. Oh, 
There's a bench official. Yeah, there's going to uh, be a timeout. Yeah. And uh, there's a dejected couple of players on the sideline. Well, that's something you just have to pick up the pace, but you got to say, as we talked about early, don't get into that, that silly foul. They're, they Both teams lucked out because it was both guys lost a guy. Both teams lost a man. But you don't want to get into that because an advantage to Syracuse or Hopkins, you do not want to give. So at this point, Syracuse came out a little bit better off. The ball will be face down at uh, Hopkins' end, and both teams are down one man for one minute. You suppose they have an over-under for this game, the total amount of goals <laughs> scored? Let's look at that last flurry on the sideline. There was going to be a delayed call against Johns Hopkins for yeah, a push. Yeah, it was a push, and it was a play on. And it, as soon as they got the ball, it would have been Syracuse ball. But that's where they started pushing and shoving a little bit. And that was seven was Burke, but he wasn't the guy. Malika was the guy who ended up with the unsportsmanlike. So. And if you're new to watching this sport, it's really amazing how few altercations uh, take place despite all the hard hitting. There is a great deal of sportsmanship in this game. And virtually everybody knows everybody else and their friends and play in the offseason. I thought there would be a face. They originally set a face, but Charlie Lockwood has the ball. Where, where's the ball? There it is. Oh, that, that was a nice hit. John Barr has it in the cage. And it is now a 7 to 6 game. Well, they had me fooled, and I think they had Hopkins fooled. I, I, we were following 22 Lockwood, and then all of a sudden, Barr jumped, had the ball, and brings Syracuse to within one. There it is. Here is yet another faceoff. Taken away by Jackson on the gallop, being pursued from behind. We have Another a timeout, timeout taken by Johns Hopkins. Syracuse arguing now about this timeout taken then by you can't, Hopkins. It's got to be, you got to have the ball in, in the other half. You can't do that. You got to have the ball in possession. Would they? Well, they're. Tony Seaman now looks like uh, he's about to lose an argument. That's a Chris. That's a Chris Weber timeout. Yeah. They had too many men on the field. I, I was going to say they can call the timeout, but apparently coming out of the substitution area, they had too many men on the field. In any event, it was an illegal timeout. Well, I, I, th I thought the idea, the reason why they called the timeout, of course, was to try to get your extra man off the field. And uh, if the timeout, <laughs> but they called it right away and uh, and they caught them. Well, we've had uh, what it amounts to almost a whole game's worth of action here in the first yeah, yeah. nine minutes of this game. There's six minutes to go in the first quarter. It is 7-6 Johns Hopkins. We've had goal scoring, we've had hitting, we've had some arguments. Yeah, we've had just about everything and, and some stretching the rules there. Really, uh, they called the timeout, tried to tried to get out of the penalty, obviously, by by calling the timeout, and then everybody run out on the field so they don't know how many guys you had out there. But uh, Jimmy O'Hara, the official, said too many men on the field because that timeout was so fast, and I saw no reason for it. That was obviously what they were trying to do. So this is an opportunity now for Syracuse. There's John Desco, Roy Simmons' longtime uh, assistant coach. Definitely a right-hand man and a left-hand man. Now Syracuse will have to clear the ball. They get the ball at their own end of the field. So they got to make it clear. Charlie Lockwood. With a move, he splits the defense. He is into the Hopkins half of the field. He's into the box looking for that left-handed crank. Saved by Marcus. A predictable kind of shot that time, and the goalie saw it. Second save by Marcus. Matt Jackson coming back now against Lockwood. Number five, Jackson. On the give back to Picola. Brian Picola looks for a man coming on for Johns Hopkins, and he finds him. Hopkins seven, Syracuse six. Milford Marshawn, oh, number 16, tough. and a gorgeous feed, and that got the crossbar. Rebound, Marshawn. That one's wide. Hopkins keeps it as Picola is back. 
Casey Gordon, 22 from Hopkins, snuck around from the back as Syracuse ran a double team. I think, watch, see him right there? And he's just one-on-one, -on -one, and that was a great save by Saran. His fourth. Now Hopkins starting it from way outside. 22 is Casey Gordon. Starting his move. Check attempt unsuccessful. Got to, got to play good body position. That's what Lockwood was doing. There, see him break now from the crease. They're really putting a lot of pressure on the Syracuse defense. Stay with your man. Number 19, Terry Reardon has three goals in the first quarter. There's a shot wide by Casey Gordon. Hopkins will keep it because Marr was backing up. Good backup by Marr. They've had good backup. They've gotten a number of shots back again. They, they play very, very good offense behind the cage. Marr shot. Has the angle for the right-hand shot. Now he had it checked away by Kukovan, and here comes John Barr. Lockwood looking back to get the pass. Barr losing it. Barr getting it back and giving it up. Yeah, now that's uh, Smith again, the big stick. Don't want He wants to get rid of it. He needs some help down there. Chad Smith took a shot uh, on the failure to advance. Yeah. So that's uh, Barr took a little time to get the ball and he needed some help. He had to give it to Smith the big stick. They could not advance it, so it cost some possession. Hopkins leading seven to six, coming down to four minutes to go in the first quarter. Can they get it across in time? They do. That one got the pipe. Beardsley in trouble sends it back to Saran. Oh. Saran had it deflected on the outlet. Beardsley cheats it way out to the other side of the field and too far. Not handled there by Matt Ryder. Nice job by Hopkins. Tom Sullivan checked the stick and Syracuse lost an opportunity there. They had a little trouble clearing. And Hopkins doing a good job of riding. So they get another opportunity back. 334 left first period. Now Syracuse will apply a ride. Hopkins will go to Marchant across the midfield line. Syracuse retreating defensively as Marchant cuts right. Rebound, fan. Crowd comes to their feet. A lot of open. Another attempt, though, for Hopkins. Kelly cut through. You know, when that ball bounced out and the Hopkins guy, the ball was going, it was like four guys in white shirts headed for him. There was somebody open. Syracuse. Got back in position, however. Now they clear out, allowing take, perhaps the one on one. Take their time. Now they go way outside again. Peter Jacobs. Jacobs likes to move right as he does. Saran playing with more confidence now. Seems to be into the flow. He's moving better. Yeah. Good backup again. Once again, Hopkins getting a lot more shots, controlling the offensive boards, if you will, by getting behind and able to. Come up with the here's Kelly position. Ryan Kelly trying to back his way down, but he's not successful, so he gives it up. Jacobs going back to Kelly. See all the movement. They really put a pressure on the defense. They, you've got to stay. If you get overexcited and you drop off, they do such a good job. Hopkins of finding the open man that you've got to be very careful. Syracuse playing well defensively, being a little bit more patient than they. Perhaps normally are defensively. Here's Cavallero. He's got all those spin moves. Yeah, he looked like he warded there. Working against Whitek. Yeah, Whitek. And he's taken down, keeps his balance, shoots wide. Kelly backs up. Kelly has it ah. knocked away. The crowd's going to love that. Yeah, but, but he got Hopkins the ball gets back. It back. There's a and push. There is a push. Not a good penalty. See, that was what we talked about. Is that Kugavan? That's the kind of thing that, that uh, Thorpe rather, watch, watch where the ball's down, all right? Now, Hopkins is, he's got it in his stick. Okay, play good defense, you just, it's an obvious penalty, now you're man down for 30 seconds. So Reggie Thorpe commits the penalty, pushing. And here comes Piccola. Hopkins' first opportunity, man up. David Townsend's on, extra attacker number 15. Here's Kelly. And now Townsend. 
And Kelly. Marr. Marr again. Kelly. Syracuse extending their defense in this 30 second man up opportunity. That went in and came out, but it's a goal. So the goal put in by Casey Gordon. And Johns Hopkins now leads it 8 to 6. That's what the ball movement's all about. You move the ball, you hope you can get an alley. See, they could not get up on his stick. He does the stick side, but really extended it. Watch Gordon. See, with an extra man, you got to slide over. If you can't get stick on stick and they get a shot off, it can be trouble, and Gordon ripped the nets for goal number eight for Hopkins. Back in 1985, Hopkins beat Syracuse 8-6. to six. That's the score here in the first quarter. Evans down the sideline with the ball. The big stick gets rid of it. And he's going to sub on the fly. Along with Fazy for Syracuse as they... Beardsley over with the big stick defensively. Down eight to six. They got to get some people on side. They don't want to leave him down there too long with that big stick. He'll track a lot of attention. They get Colsey in coming out of the box as Syracuse bides their time. Get on sides and send the midfield group over with Colsey. Fiata. That's the time remaining. First quarter. Not Colsey good. drawing the double team. Now give it up. Finn cranks it in close. And a little touch shot by Jamie Archer. That's his third goal in this first quarter. And they're all the same place. He sneaks out from behind. It's a little, watch him. That's Dom Finn. It's a hard pass because they're sliding out. They're playing a zone there, and they leave him alone. And what they're supposed to do is the ball, watch, as the ball is passed, they're supposed to slide. But he makes a real hard, fast pass, and they can't slide fast enough to pick him up. So it was actually Malika who couldn't get there. Vecchio loses it, and now Syracuse with a chance to tie before this first quarter ends. And they do! Dom Finn, it is 8-8. Eight, eight. What a quarter! What an effort by Dom Finn! And you talk about how important the face-offs are. We said it early. That's a great example of what you can do when you get the face-off. It's a fast break. It's an unsettled situation. Finn pumps, takes the high overhand shot, and you're right back in it. Eight to eight. Watch it again. There's the high shot. Eight to eight. And another face-off. Here's Syracuse with a chance to go up before the first quarter. And the clock stops with four seconds to go. Unbelievable action. Good hustle by Burke. They got to the end line, so Hopkins will get the ball. But those face-offs, Syracuse 9-8 to eight in the face-off department. And that is the end of one quarter of play. That will be talked about, I think, for many years to come. Eight to eight at the end of one. We need a break. Yeah. To keep this pace up, it'll be 32 32. I'm not sure about the players, but the fans and the announcers are pretty exhausted yeah. after that quarter. Whew. It's a whole game in a quarter. 8-8 eight, eight is the score after one quarter of play. We may need a computer just to add up the first yeah, quarter statistics. As I said, it could be 32-32 if this keeps up. Ground ball is pretty even, as you can tell. Both teams hustling 5-3 in the save department. Uh, edge to Saran. Shots go to Hopkins. Clears 7-4. And now back right to the faceoff. Right where they left off, and Fiera. Fiera on the wing gets it. Nice fake in midfield. Oh, good hustle. Lost the ball and splits the defense. Here comes Mark Fiera with a low shot. Kick save, Marcus. Redirect to him. And here come the Blue Jays. Crowd quiet for one of a few times in this game. It's on the ground, Vecchione staying on after the faceoff. Losing nice the ball. Nice check, is that Fiera? Yeah, it is. He goes down and rakes it free for the moment. Colsey overruns it, gets it back. Yeah. 
And a procedure call going against. Playing without a stick, I think. Who's it against? It's against Hopkins. Yep. Yeah, I think he lost one. I think he loses his stick, and you can't get in, you know, if you get in the way of a player or you see he had his right. foot on the ball, actually. Right. He withheld the ball from play or whatever. The penalty is the same in terms of uh, consequence. Colsey now to Lockwood. Finn is astride him, and now Dom Finn uh, dribbles at a time or two and picks it up. Syracuse now can take the lead back. Here's this zone defense that you're going to look at with, with Hopkins. And they got a lot of people, and they really crowded up, and then they slide, and they're not afraid to gamble. They'll jump. At one point, Syracuse is down 6-3. to three. See how aggressively they play this defense? And they put a lot of blue shirts between themselves and the goalie. That rider from deep in his uh, own end zone. It, it, it forces you, Dave, to make a lot of passes and to be patient. And uh, that shot. That is was a pass. That was it? a pass. Yeah, it should be a pass. And it is ruled a pass, so Hopkins will get it. They're going to say it was off, off a stick. It makes no difference. They got to get back in. Now, Dom Finn's got to get right back in the game now. It's time to play defense. On the sideline, Hopkins to the midfield area. Here's their little man. Look out. Oh! Out of nowhere came Doyle on Cavallero. That drew a flag. Let's see what happens here. Cavallero, as you said, not a, not a big guy, and... Doyle thought he could get him from the side, but uh, that wasn't close. That'll be 30 seconds, so man up opportunity is, oh, that was a surprise, wasn't it? Hopkins Cavalero. one for one so far in man up. Cavalero just <laughs> snuck a peek at the last moment. Otherwise, he would have been totally blindsided on that one. Hopkins, nice job last time on the uh, on the first man up with uh, Gordon, 22 scored. He's up um, the left side, the right side. As we look at it, left side as the goalie does. We are in an 8-8 game early in the second quarter. Hopkins in blue. Dave Marr, 13. In close oh, and sneak. in the cage. Beautiful stick work by Johns Hopkins. They take the lead back. Piccola scores again. Nice job by Piccola. Watch as they get the ball. We're going to see him. Hit Pacola and Pacola just steps out. Doesn't have much of an angle, but he had enough to make it. It was a beautiful shot by Pacola. And that gives Hopkins the lead by one at 9-8. That's his second goal of the game. Fuchsia that time with Vecchioni. Steve Vecchioni comes up with the ball. We got a push. That'll go on. Uh, Syracuse way. Vecchioni will stay on. Here comes Pusha Push back against him. He doesn't have the ball, however. It's yeah. Lockwood, <laughs> 22. With a bloop into the corner. Now Syracuse works from behind, down 9 8. And Ryder's I'm just going to no say, good. he's been quiet. That'll stay Syracuse ball. Archer was backing up. Fuchsia gave it up. Outside Lockwood. Hopkins really clogging up the middle defensively. Well, that's what that, that zone does. They just slide and they keep people fairly tight. There's a cutter through. He sets a screen. Oh, nice try. Lockwood set a screen for Jamie Archer's shot when he cut through. The Ryder was, what, the leading uh, point producer with 46 coming in. I don't think he's uh, to check and see what he's got tonight. Hopkins with 20 shots to 18 for Syracuse. Jamie Archer had three goals in the first quarter. Syracuse being patient. Here's Ryder, upper right-hand corner. Oh, that was a good angle. You saw where the goalie was playing and where the net was left unprotected, and he just fired it for that upper right hand corner to tie the game. Look at it now. You see him all slide there. Now they're trying to slide, and he gets that shot off before they can slide over and protect. Pass back. There's Ryder. I mean, you know, it's easy to see in slow motion. You see how quickly it happens in real time. And Ryder puts in goal number nine for Syracuse. 
Second of the game for Matt Ryder. As I told you earlier, he has scored in 38 consecutive games. New faceoff man that yeah. time for the Blue Jays. And he got it. It was uh, Milford Marchand. Marchand, 16, up with the face. 9 9. And here is Marchand working inside. Good defense by Syracuse. They take it away and they transition. Here comes Lockwood. The crowd rises to its feet. Lockwood with a fake, a pass behind. Ryder, he gets it back, fans. And he is taken down hard. Everybody's up and okay. Back come the Blue Jays. Legging it back for Johns Hopkins. Number 22 is KC Gordon. He scored earlier. Nine nine game. Here's Reardon who scored three times. Kugavan pushes him off. He, he does some pushing it off of his own. Piccola picks it up. Reardon, a tall 6 4 down there, wants the ball. He's on the crease. That's Alex uh, Wedkowski with a shot to score. Alex Wedkowski puts Hopkins up yet again at 10 to 9. Hopkins' pep band is here. Wedkowski takes a left handed shot, jump shot up in the air, and he goes high. Watch from the ground level. There he goes up. Face offs now 2 to 1 in this quarter so far for Syracuse overall. There's Vecchio back out to take the face. 11 9, yeah, Vecchio out after Marchand got the last one. Vecchio gets this one. Fuchsia tried to wrap check it, and Vecchio heads the other way. That's Unimpeded great. for the most part. Nice save. Saran working hard on that one. And a dive at the last moment, but it's still Hopkins' ball. Reardon helps up Kugavan. Good dive by Kugavan. Whoever gets to that sideline and it's closest to it when the ball goes out gets the ball back on a shot no matter whether you took it or not but they give the ball to Hopkins and they will set and work from behind and Brian Kelly has it number four Kelly isolated and works free he had the opportunity to shot it high Wittick was on him and uh, Forced him at least to get the stick up and take a high shot. Syracuse has their defensive midfield in with Wittick and Doyle. And there's Jacob spinning. Smith has a size uh, advantage over Doyle. And he feeds the cutter. And that time, Saran denies Reardon. Who's going to get it this time? Hopkins keeps it. Last touch by yeah. uh, Whitehead. There's the save. I thought he got a stick on that. And there's the oh, might have been might have been a push. A pensive Roy Simmons looking on. His team trailing 10 to 9. Just reared in one on one. Gets jumped. Uh, yeah, got double team. Took away the other angle, the other shooting angle. Vecchione outside. Vecchione. And uh, reared. Sometimes this game is so quick you can't get the last syllable. That's right. Yeah, they've, they've already done something. Quick stick. And Saran rising to the task that time. Jackson took a left-handed quick stick. They retain possession. The last four possessions on out of bounds on shots have gone to Hopkins. Look at Hopkins' superiority in the second quarter of games. That's a low shot. Bad angle on Gotta be man attempt. ball here. Somebody's got to take Becky Owen. And somebody did take Vecchio. Yeah. Syracuse lost the ball. Chad Smith lost it. Thorpe applying his body liberally. Smith takes a shot from Piccola. It's all legal. It's all legal. Let's that's see what the, that's uh, they have Syracuse. I think zero for five on these out of bounds. This was uh, this is why people say, "Geez, is there any body contact in this sport?" Well, they're playing man ball, trying to take people out, get the ball, and. Vecchione real active over there and then Thorpe puts him down and then they uh, 
just keep pushing and shoving, and now the result is Hopkins has the ball once again. It's tough to give him that many possessions and get away without giving up a goal. Nice, nice save. save. That's Saran. Almost point blank range, and here comes Chad Smith. He's being pursued from behind. Does he know it? No. He lost the ball, got it back. Now he throws it too low and too far. Out of the reach of uh, the intended man, Jeff Schusler, coming on. Yeah, Syracuse trying to get some people into play and get some playing time. And uh, you're going to see the left-handed shot and right in the stick. And then the follow-up with the stick and the control by Saran. He's got uh, eight saves so far. And there's the Hopkins five for Marcus. Ten to nine. Coming on quickly there, number two is Tim Colbert. Unimpeded, he gave it up. Had Reardon. good speed, yeah. Reardon to Piccolo. He'll work one-on-one. -on -one. He gets the double team. Beardsley comes yeah. over. Syracuse applies some body. Here comes Reggie Thorpe. Now he, he better slow it down. I don't think he should take a shot. Syracuse doesn't yeah. have the numbers. Hopkins no. outnumbered Syracuse and the attacking half of the field. So the, they wisely slow down to get more attack people on. Well, they had to get their midfield on. They went to get the big stick midi off, and they got any back Jump up? shot by Ryder. Oh. The rebound nearly taken by Casey Donegan, who was in close, but a good job by Marcus to pull it in. Burke up ahead, too That's far. Unforced error. Good, yeah, good job, actually, though. I'll tell you who did some forcing was Donegan. Casey Donegan, number one. You're right, they made the pass, but he was there putting the pressure on, forced him to make the pass. So Donegan, good hustle defensively after Syracuse not really able to get a good shot on goal. If you just joined us, we had an 8 8 first quarter, one of the highest scoring first quarters we have ever seen. And now it's 10 to 9, Johns Hopkins. What does that mean when they touch the helmet I mean, like it's that? It's uh, they're they're sending the play in. Second time I've seen that in the game. Now Ryder against that Hopkins zone defense. And they play it really aggressive right there. They'll go after people. Oh, that overshot the close in man in the slot. The far out man Colsey got it, and it ends up in Marcus's stick. And now here comes Hopkins. Look at the speed. Good speed on Hopkins. Sullivan. Sullivan way down the field. To Piccola. Now Reardon heads behind. He'll get the pass. Reardon slows it down. He waits for some other folks to come on. He finds Jacobs coming off the bench. If Reardon is 6'4", how big is Jacobs? Yeah, they got some tall people. They got another jump out of the substitution area with Cavalero, I think. He's a little guy. Yep. Certified Smurf out there. Cavalero and they're slowing the ball down a little bit. Whittick on him. Cavalero listed at 5'8". Might be a stretch. <laughs> Under uh, 5.45 to go. Here's the cutter rear. Nobody played him. And his shot is high and wide. Who's got it? Syracuse. Did you see number four, Kelly, snuck out from the top of that stack and was headed for the crease. And now they put people on and off. Boy, they are hustling. They get bodies on. They get their defensive people back out there. Big stick midfielder for Hopkins. Oltman. Saran came way out. He overshot Lockwood in the midfield area. So Hopkins picks it up now. That was catchable. That was a mistake. Now Syracuse striving not to give him a two goal lead. Saran got a stick on it, I think, and Lockwood picked it up. So the offensive pace has slowed down a bit. Can Syracuse catch that ball? No. That's a play on push. On the sideline, Casey Donegan got pushed. John Barr is on now. Malika got him, and that would uh, give Syracuse the ball. That was a tough position to be in. Ball Col down the sideline. They almost lost it. Colbert racing on the field. Tim Colbert, number two. Syracuse looking for the tying goal. Kusha. Donegan. 
Lamar sends it back. Lockwood. Syracuse keeps it. You know what they do is they get that zone sinking back and sinking back, and they try to pop the ball out to the man on top. In that case, Lockwood, you got a natural screen with all those guys in there, but can you get the ball through them? Changing strategies here in the later stages of the second quarter after it was bombs away in the first. 10 9 Hopkins. Casey Donegan is number one. John Barr under the crossbar. Just perfect placement. See how they make those passes, and as they sink back in, they get the pass going backwards almost. Watch. Watch where this pass comes from. Backwards. Going the other way, make the shift. Here's the jump from outside because in the zone they don't go out that far. And as he comes in, they try to hit him with a, it's got to be a perfect pass and it's got to be a perfect shot. There's the backward pass, there's the shot and goal. Yeah, that looks like the old throwback pass in football that you're so fond of. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the Pittsburgh one play. Of my, the Pittsburgh play, one of my favorites. But that's apparently the strategy. Get him going, sinking back in, make that pass back well against a team that pursues in any sport like that that's always a great weapon yep 10 10 407 to go Syracuse lost the ball on the possession Syracuse 12 10 in the faceoff department doing very well they lost that one Casey Gordon now here's Milford Marshot One time. Kukowski, high shot, no backup that time. Syracuse will have a clearing attempt. Syracuse has not led in this game since very early in the first quarter. They got it out of their defensive end. Now they got to go across midfield. Well, they got 10 seconds to get into the offensive goal area, which they did. Oh, they got a sneak man, Ryder. Or, excuse me, Archer. They couldn't see him. Donegan handled it behind. Now Matt Ryder with it against Tom Sullivan. They want him to get back. This is, they want an ISO here. He has the angle. Rebound. Archer gets it again. Coming in, feeds a crease. John Barr has given Syracuse an 11 to 10 lead. Beautiful pass. You're right, that, that's what made that play. They got the rebound, and Barr outside a little bit. There's the shot that was down. Actually stopped, never got there. Pass behind. Now Barr, there he is. He got the, he got the jump on Evans. This is a little better angle. There you see it right there. And it was gives, uh, Casey Donegan with the assist. Yep, Donegan, nice job. He's a little garbage man in there. He, Procedure against Syracuse. So Fazy's gonna lose that face-off. Make it 12 to 11 in the face-off department. Three minutes to go in Syracuse leads for the first time in this game since very early in the first quarter. Archman led three to two. And now they have a lead of 11 to 10. They were behind by as many as three goals. See the, see the isolation there and then all the movement out on top as they try to get Syracuse. A little problem coming out of the You can't leave until your man crosses. So they get a, another jump out of the sub area. Jacobs raced on from the bench, 24. It was a nice job Hopkins did of getting the jump on him out of the substitution area. Did you see how Reggie Thorpe fans his stick? Yeah. This is the second quarter now with 2.15 to go. Oh, what a shot by Kelly. He threw it in right off his ear without turning. Right. A gorgeous shot by Brian Kelly. Look Kelly, at this. 5'8", 145. Watch, just a no-looker. A no-looker, but he knows where he is. Oh. Brought that arm up a little bit, but nice, beautiful shot. You know he practices that. 11-11. Now the Becchione and Facey, Dale. Race on, race is on to, to either go in by a goal lead or to not go down. So right now, uh, Syracuse is going to lose the faceoff. 
And the ball has been down. A lot of room here for Hopkins to operate. Yep. Colbert gave it up. He had that slot all to himself. Here's Marr against Beardsley. Nicola. Ryan Tully started the game on defense. Right. Hopkins keeps it. Well, they're doing a job of coming out of the. They are hustling and running to get people out of the substitution area and beat Syracuse off the off the mark. Oh, Beautiful nice spin move. move. And Saran, did he get a piece of that? I don't know. I don't think so. He was down low. He contorted himself in a hurry. It's Cavalero. So the idea is go in at least tied. If you can get up by one, fine. But don't go in down by one. That's Dave Marr, number 13. Only a freshman. Aaron pass. Here comes Syracuse. Just over a minute to go. Chad Smith, he's got some legs under him. Timeout, Syracuse. Syracuse. Timeout. Good idea. 107 to go, second quarter. Play for the last shot. 11 11. This is the final game of the regular season. Then we have the NCAA tournament coming up and a quarterfinal round game. And Syracuse will play, and we'll have it for you on Super Sports. Here's uh, Caballero with uh, Wittick guarding him for Syracuse. And he's just a little, little guy. Saran, the stretch out. This is a game that definitely has a place for the little man. Absolutely. You don't have to be big. Helps to be quick, though. And tough. Yeah. <laughs> tough. Tough for sure. You can underline that a few I, times. I can't think of a sport where they say, you know, we're looking for some slow guys. <laughs> I think you have to be, if you're going to be small, you got to be quick. How about the conditioning you need in this game? Oh, I know it. When you look at some of these guys are, are pretty big guys also, and you say uh, they carry uh, a lot of weight for all the running they do. And the commencement speaker this year, former Syracuse player and All-American, a Hall of Famer, Chief Oren Lyons. He played with Roy Simmons and Jim Brown back in the 50s. Now a professor of, I guess, American studies at the uh, State University of New York at Buffalo. A very nice skilled, a very skilled international negotiator, too. And quite an artist. Here we go, the final minute of the first half. Was Aaron a shot. shot. Syracuse will keep it. Don Finn almost put it in the second deck. Boltman, the big stick guy on him. Ryder tried an unusual shot. It's on the ground. It's knocked free. Syracuse battles for it. Matt Jackson has it. Archer's all over him. Orange will apply some pressure as Hopkins tries to come across within 10 seconds. They got it out of it. Now they got a, they got a fast break. The cola sends behind. Here's Reardon. Yeah, you got to find Reardon. Reardon's been quiet in the second quarter. Here's Kelly. Look, he can throw the ball off of any ear without even looking. Oh. Here's the goal. Go ahead, goal. Charlie Spino with 14 seconds to go. I believe that's his first shot of the game. And Spino puts Hopkins up 12-11, 14 seconds to go. Syracuse picked each other off. They had a collision, pass back, and Spino able to beat Saran and give him a one-goal lead. Syracuse has time if they can get the face off to get a shot off. Fuchsia overran it. Fuchsia still in pursuit of it. Bar of King Hustle and get a shot off. Four seconds, he throws it in front, rebound, and that is it. The end of one half here in the dome with Johns Hopkins leading Syracuse 12 11.
We'll be back on Super Sports right after this. This first half saw Syracuse score. After only six seconds of the game, Johns Hopkins came back to tie it up. After only 14 seconds were elapsed, it was literally shot for shot, punch for punch, goal for goal in that first period. 8-8 at the end of one, 12-11 Johns Hopkins at halftime. We'll be back with more on Super Sports right after this. Halftime in the Carrier Dome and the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays lead the Syracuse Orangemen 12 to 11. Hi again everybody, Dave Cohen along with Dale Drypulcher. We talked about face-offs being critical in this game and never before have we seen two goals scored so quickly off of consecutive face-offs. Well that's what happens when you get that fast break situation and we talked about it and it's come true. Here is the opening face-off and Andy Pusha feeds in close. Ryder up with, or excuse me, uh, Archer. Archer did. <laughs> Sorry, Archer gets the goal, and then Hopkins off the face off. And Terry Reardon going to the ground, but getting the goal. And just like that, the game was tied up after, oh, about 14, 15 seconds, and 8 8 after 1, 12 11 at the half, and here are the numbers that bear it out. John Hopkins, you look at the shot department, they've gotten six shots off. The one perhaps critical right there at the end, uh, give them a goal lead as they went into halftime. Uh, Syracuse had a little problem clearing early. I think they've straightened it out. You can see that particular situation, but it's a very close game, and it's going to be a tough, tough game for the rest of this half. Much more strategic second quarter. We'll come back to talk about what we might see in the third quarter. But there's your score at the half, 12-11. 12 12-11 12-11 as we get set to begin the third quarter. First quarter, run and gun, punch for punch, goal for goal, eight apiece. Second quarter, things slowed down. Much right. more strategy. I, I think so. I think uh, Syracuse might have been a little tight early. You know, I was down there before the game. They weren't talking too much. Usually they're a little looser than that. I think they've uh, all had a chance to run the bugs out and make their adjustments, and we'll see what they do in the second half. Once again, if you just joined us, Fred Amaya ineligible to play in this game. Uh, Syracuse conducting an internal investigation has declared him ineligible. It's up to the NCAA to restore his eligibility. Maya is a senior from uh, Long Island. Hicksville. Steve Vecchione has taken every face off except for one, I believe. And Syracuse has alternated between Bob Fazy, number 35, and number five out there now, Andy Pusha. Pusha gets it. 12 11, Johns Hopkins. Here we go in the second half. Pusha legging it toward the cage, switching hands. Looping a feed to Ryder. Poor intended pass. for Archer. Out yeah. to midfield, here's John Barr. Right place at the right time. Syracuse has had a couple of errant passes. Barr goes low with the left hand, saved by Marcus. Played catch with him there. There's Barr trying to check it away from Jacobs, or Lockwood is. Lockwood unsuccessful in the first two or three times. Jacobs still with it. He's 6'5". Six six five. Five. Yep. You and I did the same thing. I said, man, that guy's tall. Out of Manhasset, Long Island. Jim Brown's hometown. Just going to say that. During halftime, a number of uh, players from past national championship teams were brought back and honored. It's a reunion weekend for them. They all look like they're in good shape. Yeah. At least the ones who came out. Out of a weak shot by Matt Jackson. Syracuse is going to get it. Well, we're a minute and 15 seconds into this third quarter, and nobody has scored. That's right. It's a boring game. about game. five goals in the first quarter <laughs> after this much time. Violation, failure to advance, or illegal no, procedure? No, he said procedure. Well, they got to get back in and be ready to play. Here's that little man, Brian Kelly, who's got the crowd ooing and eye. That no look shot. Yeah. There's a late arriving crowd here in the dome. Most of them are seated on this side of the field. A lot of people tailgating as we drove in. That's why. Off the stick of Cavalero out of Corning, New York. 
Kelly there for backup. It is a Maryland dominated team as you would expect for Johns Hopkins but they have some upstate and Long Island representation. Oh nice pop. Oh what oh. a save of the game by Saran. A quick outlet to Lockwood. Tenth save and a beauty. You get the emotional save on one end and the goal on the other by Jamie Archer. And he took a shot before he got that shot away. That was that was beautiful. That was a, a classic Syracuse play after a, a great save. And then Saran controls the rebound, the quick outlet, and Lockwood just motoring down the field. Looked like he might take the shot, makes a fake, and then passes back in. And look at Archer just took a shot to the head, but he made the shot. Jamie Archer with four goals. That's a season high. His career high is six. Syracuse looks to go up. Good save, Marcus. Fazy went down low, got the face off. Unusual to see Fazy even taking the shot. Now Vecchio following the bouncing ball. Chad Smith, 43 there for Syracuse. Here comes Reardon against Kugavan. A little problem on oh, the yeah. bank, or excuse me, uh, Colbert, Colbert was left free. Yep. Finn found him. Off the pipe, the goalie's best friend. Good play to get that loose ball away. Here comes Beardsley. Rick loses on a check. Rick separates the man from the ball. We get a push. Yep. There's a Whittock, I think, that uh, will be called for pushing. No possession, so ball goes back to Hopkins. Jonathan Marcus having an outstanding freshman year. Oh, I guess. Twelve twelve is the score. And just as we get the words out, Hopkins takes the lead at thirteen to twelve on Wachowski's second goal of the game. Now he's 6'4", 220. They got some big people there. Wachowski just takes a jump shot. It's just one on one, and they're getting the matchups they want. Height. And then when they turn, he just fired, and that's a, a lot of tall people. A couple attack men, 6'3", 6'4", 165. Well, the faceoffs almost mirror the score, close, but not quite. Now Fazy against Vecchioni. Thorpe Schmidt had it for the moment. It's Holsey. Now Syracuse looks to equalize the game. Nice save. Marcus now coming up with another save. Yeah, he's had a couple of beauties there. Nine in the game now. Vecchioni just got it away, paid the price. Syracuse's Holsey Roy gets Holsey it back. Has it. And the Orange tie the game once again. Holsey trying to split the oh. defense. He did. And we get a whistle. You got caught him upstairs. Burke is down on the ground. That'll be one Sullivan minute. Sullivan is heading off. So Syracuse get their third opportunity. They're one of two at this point, but might have passed the ball there. He tried to really force his way through, and this is the one we saw actually before. That was the save that Marcus made. Right, nice job. So now Syracuse with a golden opportunity to tie this game up once again. Largeman led early and then they regain the lead briefly. Now they're behind 13 to 12. I think this will go down to the, the last goal, Dave. Oh, Marcus save. again. Almost all the saves have been on the right side of the cage. He's got 10. Hopkins biggest lead in this game is three goals. Here comes Matt Jackson. On the dump off intercepted by Lockwood. Good read by Charlie Lockwood on where that pass was going. From behind, somebody will be coming in your picture. Lockwood with a behind the back pass. Bollander, uh, 45 for Hopkins, saved it in, but uh, 26 defenseman has it now. Evans holding that stick way out. First two appearances of the game, I believe, for Evans and Bollander. Right. They're trying to get people this some Kelly, rest. man, he is nifty. 
Kelly. New faces in the game. Here's a low shot that's wide for Johns Hopkins. That was uh, Chris Steer. So on three new people on that play. Well, in a game like this, you've got to, you've got to get some rest for some people. You can't run them all day, including your defensive people. And Tony Siemens knows that. And he's been running the substitution area all game. It is a cool and a very dry night in Syracuse after an equally cool and dry day. The humidity is not a factor. In the crease, violation. They did a little give and go there. They thought they'd be able to hit Pacola. Syracuse got a stick up, but his foot was apparently in the crease. There it is. See, there's the give and go. And they're right there. Good call by the official. Thorpe finds Fuchsia. He finds some running room. He's had a good game. Yep. Switching to the right hand. Oh! And he scores! Like a crossover by Andy Fuchsia, and he ties his game at 13. He got a couple of hop steps there, didn't he? Six foot 180 out of Tully. Watch. One, two. Overhand. Looked like he was doing a sidearm. He went overhand. See that? Look, look. And then he went overhand. He's had an excellent game. He's and been, he stays out to take the face. Yeah. If you could get the face off, that would be a real coup. He might. He still might. No, he won't. Back the other way comes Johns Hopkins in a 13-13 game. This is Michael Woltman. So Tony Seaman is emptying his bench to get some fresh legs in. Jacobs pushed off the play by Chad Smith. Goes around the Vecchione pick. Trying to stay with Jacobs. Coming over the top, and he does it. Wait until he hung that big stick. And he comes away with it. Smith still doesn't have it. Yeah. So he tried to fake the Hopkins uh, player in pursuit. Sullivan loses the ball. Syracuse stay on has side. It. Got a onside man. Thorpe going to give it up here if they can get some help. Get him to a short stick. And the fans like it. It was good heads up play. Incidentally, Dave, one of the other things we talked about at the open, the penalty. Syracuse only been down, man down three times. So that is excellent for them. Uncharacteristic, too. Yeah, Hopkins is. Uh, John Barr going by, feeding the crease. And there's the goal for Syracuse. That was Mark Vienna who puts the orange on top. 14 to 13. You don't see John Barr in the role of feeder too often. Nope. Goes behind, left-handed look. Fietta just able to, he got a jump on Vecchione. And look, see two guys with him behind, leaving somebody open. Listen, I misspoke. Uh, Syracuse has only been manned down twice. It's even more impressive. Yes. Eight goals on the year now for Fietta. And again, a Syracuse oh. one-goal lead, and Andy Pusha. Boy, he's Picks just up the ground ball. Having a fantastic game. And they're going to get some blue jerseys on him as he gives it up to Barr. Barr into a gallop and a hop step, and he goes to the right. And he feeds from behind. Oh, it's in there! It's in there by Ryder! <laughs> Matt Ryder. Going airborne with a right hand has given Syracuse its first two-goal lead in the game. Barr just takes a quick pass behind, and he just does a little bit of a halfway air gate. Here's a look at it from behind as Barr makes the pass. There's the leap, one-hand shot high. Great shot. Didn't quite get the hang time. No, he didn't. But nope. he was nope. up there long enough. Not a lot of style points, but. Uh, get it by Marcus. 15-13. This is Syracuse's biggest lead of the game. Look at this. He's really hustling for this ball. A nice face-off for Vecchione. Very patient. And they throw it away. Uh, Dom Finn's going to get it. Syracuse has been coming up. They got the last couple of face-offs. They lost that one technically, but they got it back almost instantly. So Colsey. they have been controlling the action. Colsey with Fietta to his right. And the shot was not a shot. It was a pass. It goes out of bounds. 7.43 to go third quarter. 
15 13 Syracuse. Yardsman with a two goal lead, their biggest of the game. Former Syracuse uh, player and star Tom Marachek has joined us in the booth here. We have a, a moment. We'll bring Tom in. Here's Marchant and Saran. Got a stick on it, the rebound, and the transition. Syracuse way. To Smith, big stick. Is he going to take a shot? He does. Controlled. Marcus. Smith scored earlier, and now the outlet. And here comes uh, Johns Hopkins in transition. Wodkowski who scored twice. 6 5, 220. Oh, he got a foot on that. And that rebounded. He couldn't get the rebound. From behind, will he get him? He does. On Schmidt came on, and now Chad Smith. And Rick Beardsley on the gallop. Oh, good luck. They were trying to find Archer, but they're going to lose it. Out of bounds. Tom Marachek joining us in the booth. Tom, how does it feel to be up here watching this racehorse action? Ah, uh, it's great. You know, I I miss a lot out there. The guys are playing really well. They're uh, having a good season so far, and uh, you know, I wish them all the uh, best. Of luck. Are you still in the area? Yes, I am. I, I just uh, just graduated actually this weekend. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Any work opportunity out there? No, this summer I'm traveling a lot, basically, and uh, doing a lot of camps in Colorado and uh, Florida areas, but. Uh, you know, who see? You know, I'll see this summer basically the resume and everything. And maybe I'll, grad school actually came up, so maybe, maybe even I'll, a real job, huh? Maybe a real job, <laughs> you know? Exactly. This is uh, Jacob. He's six four. They've got a six four player, a six five player out there. Syracuse um, man on man with Fietta and Kelly. Oh, Where's another uh, blind no looker. Jacobs with the rebound. He's doubled. It's on the ground, and Piccola gets to it first. He shovels it back to Jacobs. Now Cavallero feeding in front. Kelly saves Saran. Coming up big here in the second half, Chris Saran. And the outlet is intercepted. Yeah, he just wanted to get rid of it. 14 saves for Saran. A poor pass. Have you seen Saran? He's an excellent goalie, isn't he? He's playing well. He's yes. playing unbelievable. We'll get a look at his last save here, Tom. Watch the. Let's see it in slow motion because he didn't see it in slow motion. Is this Kelly? There it is. Stick side, yes. Yeah. Sran's a really good lateral goalie. He's good for side to side, and he, you know he's, he's there before the ball is most of the time. That's what makes him a great, great goalie. Right yeah, now. he's able to cover that width, didn't he? Really quick. Anybody in particular who's impressed you in this game tonight? Um, Don Finn's coming along. You know, Don Finn started off slow. Uh, a few other guys are playing really well. Chad Smith's playing good on defense. And uh, no, they're just playing as a team, which I like it. You know, this, it's just perfect the way they play. It's just, they're just gelling as players. Coming in, we were worried about faceoffs, but Pusha and Fazy have done a great job of, uh, well, actually up on faceoffs now. Syracuse 16-15. Uh, so they have done a good job. Yeah, they, they are. Bobby Fazy can't count him out. He's playing really well and yep. he's worked hard. He came a long way from three years and he's he's done a great job for us. Here is Charlie Lockwood with the right hand, giving it up in close. Ooh. Ryder just missed. Sir Archer is going to keep it in Syracuse possession. Syracuse playing better defensively, Dave. I think they're jumping better when they take the chances. They got themselves covered in back. Uh, I think in the first quarter they're a little nervous and a little afraid to do that, and now they seem to be doing a lot better and putting the ball on the ground when Hopkins has it. In close, Ryder tried to backhand it in, saved by Archer. Lockwood missed the pass. Syracuse oh. gets it back again. Another opportunity, and now Hopkins has it. Sullivan up ahead, too far That's on the ground, taken away by Lockwood. That's the hustle I talked about. Syracuse been... getting to the ground balls now. Cross the goal feed. Bettinger fake. Lock. The other way. Here comes Hopkins. Colbert. That will draw a flag as Colbert goes down. Matt Ryder arguing as he's escorted to the bench. You know, Tom, it doesn't make any sense to argue because they never changed their mind. That's right. <laughs> once, it def once the officials say what they're going to say, they get it out of the way and get it out of the system, and, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. You'd never hear somebody say, hey, I'm sorry, you're right. I'll change that. No. All right, that yeah. wasn't a penalty. You very rarely see that. That's true. 
So man down opportunity, or man up I should say, but Syracuse man down only for time number three. I've seen them down 10 or 12 or 13 times during the year. They're doing exceptionally well at that. They have given up two, however. We're down to three and a half to go in this third quarter. Syracuse on top, 15-13. 8-8 after one quarter. 12-11 of the half. Biggest lead of the game right now for Syracuse. Oh, let him in. And he scores. His second man up goal. So it is now a 15-14 game. Very methodically, Hopkins chips away. Casey Gordon had the first one. He's open down the middle. To watch the cut. Three of three, 100% on man up for Hopkins. And you see the cut and the shot. Tom, we don't see too many behind the back passes anymore. No, it's actually, it's changed a bit, actually. I, my mic's a little bit. There you go. Yeah, it's good, though. You know, you don't need that stuff some of the times. And, you know, the, the team this year, uh, they, have, they have great athletic ability, and they don't need to do half that stuff. But uh, Are you saying that some of your passes were unnecessary? <laughs> I could I could possibly say that, you know. Pretty, but, uh, maybe, though. I like them. <laughs> some of them worked for me, put it that way. But, uh, you know, like I said, this team's definitely, you know, they're different-oriented, uh, and they're playing well without that kind of stuff. They're just strong, physical, and uh, they're working the ball really well, which I like to see behind the net here. With Matty Ryder to Archer. So you'll be taking part in graduation ceremonies? Yes, I will. Syracuse 15 and Johns Hopkins 14. Ryder inside, left-hand shot. Marcus having good third quarter for the most part. Jacobs pulls down the rebound. This is the pressure I've been talking about. Syracuse do a much better job of putting this pressure on and forcing Hopkins to take the time, and now they got to get back. Well, you got to be in good shape. Marchant. Now Picola. The big guns have been quieted for the most part for Hopkins since early in the game. Here's Kelly. He's clever. Yeah, he's, he's playing really well. Kelly, number 21, is playing a really good game. Uh, He's tough to beat, that little kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had a triple spin move on yeah. his first goal. It was quite amazing. You see Reardon out there at 6'4". He's quite a target to get the ball at number 19. Yeah. We're going to see an ISO, which is where they would be. Oh, what a nice save. Another yeah, good save. That's good. They seem to have, have been doing a lot of isolation where they kind of send everybody out. And let's check it. There's the move right there, and there's the save. And as you talked about, Tom, the lateral movement and yeah. able to keep on the ball. Couldn't get the rebound, but... Made the initial save. Chris surprises people sometimes. It's amazing his uh, lateral movement and uh, just his ability. He's a great athlete and he's a great kid and he loves this game and, he's, and he loves the team. You know, that's yeah. one thing and he's a leader out there, which uh, they definitely needed this year. Budkowski out uh, on Colsey. He isn't pretty, but he's scored twice. He's a big kid. A little, little, little ward there, perhaps. No call. Now we're down to a minute and 10 to go in the third quarter. Syracuse clinging to a one goal lead, 15 14. Well, they're really clogging the crease. Now they move over and kind of offset in a little isolation here with Cavalero. Looking for the jump, Tom, and then yeah. they're going to, yeah. Back to Cavalero, they clear out for him. He's going to try it again. Yep. There's a spin. There it is. And he fanned on it. That's great. Oh, and the rebound is put in, and the cage is knocked over by Fietta. And we have a 15-15 game. Marr, 13, is the guy that got the goal. The freshman, Dave Marr. We get a look. As you said, Tom, he was going to do it, and then I think he got a hit. He got Fietta a hit. got a hand Fietta on the stick. came back. Yeah, that yep. was a great check. There. That was a good wrap check. It's too bad. Most of the goals I've seen that uh, Chris Rand gave up are just uh, pretty well garbage goals. They're the loose balls. Like this just one. Right there. You know, Chris was ready. He was up for the initial save, and the ball just bounced, you know, in an awkward position. And, uh, you know, you can't really do anything about it. Shake it and off. And so Hopkins exactly. has come back from a two-goal deficit. Now they can take the lead before this third quarter comes to an end. That's why that faceoff is so important. They get the ball back and start it all over again. Nice job. Barr lost it. Smith? Beardsley oh, lost it back. 
We have 12 seconds to go. Here's he regains it. He whips it across the midfield line, but we had a win. Failure, failure to advance. I don't. That was uh, going the other way. So Hopkins will have it back with five seconds remaining in the quarter. Well, you got to pull it together now. Don't give up a cheap goal. And they're just going to keep it for the face. And that is the end of the third quarter with Syracuse and Johns Hopkins all tied at 15 apiece. We'll be back in the Carrier Dome right after this. Fifteen fifteen as we get set for the fourth quarter. Of course, the possibility of overtime is yeah. very real in this game. Eight eight after one, 12 11 Hopkins at the half, 15 all after three. And there are the other numbers. Yeah, both goalies, I think, have an excellent games. The ground balls, people hustling for Syracuse and for Hopkins. Shots, Hopkins out in front in that department by eight and clearing. Hopkins 22, 14 to Sir, for Syracuse. Will the fresher legs tell the story in this fourth quarter? Usually what happens. Vecchione losing the face to Kusha, but his behind the back pass is intercepted. Here comes Hopkins breaking out. The Syracuse lead at 15-13 was their biggest of the game. Yeah, the last two goals have been Hopkins. That Nerdsley on Cola. The cat and mouse game. Here's Matt Jackson. Hopkins has used a lot of isolations, a lot of one on ones in this game. Here's Jackson again. Wachowski cuts toward the cage. Outside Jackson. Going left. Watkowski and Reardon. They're two, six, four, six, five. Both of them in. Reardon gets by his man easily, and the shot is wide. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't hit the cage on that. He's upset with himself. He opened the game up by scoring twice against uh, Brian Tully, a surprise starter on the close defense. Well, they double teamed. Saran, uh, Saran went back to help out, and Reggie Thorpe comes away with it. Now can he clear it? He does a nice job getting it ahead. Smith with it. Nice job by Saran. The ever present Andy Pusha, number five. Now you can see the strategies becoming more and more apparent. Archer picks it up, guarded by Burke. Jamie Archer with the spin. Coming off the pick. Coming back. Bouncing shot, backed up by Syracuse. Hopkins so. mixing up some defenses there. Now they look to have gone to man to man at that point. Crowd quiet now as the action has slowed. Syracuse walking it toward the cage. Fuchsia cranks. Not much on that shot. Syracuse will keep it again. We're nearly two minutes into this fourth quarter. 15 all. Here's Jamie Archer. Stop and go move. Kugavan in on attack for Syracuse, number one, along with Ryder and Archer. Donegan. We see Donegan, number one, is back. Kusha on his dodge move. Trying to get a little more room. Syracuse running the clock here. Ryder. Ryder is doubled. He goes over the top. It's in there. It is in there. It's a goal for Matt Ryder. I didn't think he had a chance. Ha. That'll get the crowd on their feet. Matt Ryder goes over the top. <laughs> Let's check it out. This is tough. If you're an official, you're not ready for this. You've got, you've got to be watching. Let's see. Let's see where the takeoff is. Oh, no, he, he was there. Yeah, that was good. 
Did he release the shot before the foot hit in the crease? Yeah, let's see. Let's check it out again. I don't know if we'll see from this angle. I'll tell you what, you'd, you'd, you'd have to slow it down like this to tell the difference. It looked good to me. 16-15. That woke this place up. And the Syracuse got the face off. So we have seen Matt Ryder go air gate twice. Once laterally and then once over the top. And oh. another score. Roy Colsey. Now it is 17 to 15. Colsey just they kind of slacked off him for a second and he just turned on the speed. It's Becky Owen right there and he beats him. He just turned and sprinted. See that's 40 right there the face off man Becky Owen. And uh, he puts in a two goal lead for Syracuse at 12.03. And so it is 17 15 again. Syracuse has rebuilt a two goal lead. Still lots of time, but Fazy wins the face. Can he get the ball? He does, but he loses it. Gets it back, loses it. Colbert battling with Donegan. Syracuse ball, Ryder, he oh. scores! Matt Ryder has given Syracuse its first three goal lead of the game. An explosive last minute here for the orange man. I didn't think he had an angle. That ball was on the ground and got kicked back. This is if you're Hopkins, this is one of those unfortunate situations and he just pumps it by for that third goal, 18-15. That little hump that you want to get over, you've had a two goal lead, but watch. The face off go right back, and Hopkins can make it two just that fast. But Daisy wins it again. He's coming in. He gives it up. Syracuse had a chance to score a fourth consecutive goal right there. And oh, what a yet. check. Ryder, what a check. Fazy delivering it to Dom Finn. Now Ryder, or Archer, will slow it down in the corner. <laughs> 18-15, 11 minutes, 20 seconds to go. Coming on is Colsey and Fietta. Back man to man. Oh, they're going to jump him. Fietta fires. Syracuse has three white shirts back there. Ryder trying, I think, to regain his breath. Yeah, what? <laughs> the guy'd be a little breathless too. Ryder's going to head off. He'll be replaced by Bettinger. Yeah. And uh, he gets a round of applause. What a what a series that was. Now Dom Finn. A goal here could really be a backbreaker. Checked away from Finn. Bettinger is the behind. So we'll get a Finn to... fell in. Yeah. Hopkins ball. Three goal lead. 10-40 remaining. You know, this is one of those things where they say, well, we should just slow it down. You can't. You just got to keep playing the same way you've been playing and what's been successful. And Syracuse has been much more aggressive defensively and putting themselves in the right positions at the right time. Oh, here's a jump. Marchand all the way saved, saved by Saran. They didn't have a clearer opportunity in the game than that one. And Chris Saran came up big by going down low. Yeah, there's the, there's the jump. And Marchand... Takes the shot. He knew he had to wait till the last minute. And uh, Saran, super save number 16 for him. Jacobs. That big guy, 6'5, 210. Starting Quick his feet. offense from way outside, but reluctant to take the shot. Well, you know. He wants to work his stick around and get it where he wants to. But at 6'5", he had a little problem controlling it, but he is a player. I thought he had a couple of opportunities to fire. He was not comfortable, apparently. Sometimes, you know, you, you, you can shoot both ways, but you know that left hand isn't quite the way you want it. Sometimes you want to wait until you can get it around the other way. Syracuse got a... Saran slipping as he got that away. He's going to have to hustle to get back in his cage. 
Reardon was streaking, but Picola couldn't find him. Syracuse has had some problems. Now clearing. there's a man open in the middle. It's Jackson. Oh, oh Picola yeah. left free. Oh, Saran again. He says, and let me get it out of left. here. What a save. Two big ones by Saran. John Barr, oh, he scores. How did he do that? Where did he shoot that one from? Off his hip. Sensational goal again. The save on one end sparks the transition and the John Barr goal. That that was such a shot that was so fast, and then he does the outlet so quickly, perfectly to Barr. Now let's slow Barr down. I want to see how he did this shot. Let me see here. Okay, cradle. He just just the natural part of his rhythm, Dave. He took that cradled the ball and just just didn't even break stride. What a great shot. Yeah, that's what made it so tough. He didn't break stride. The goalie probably didn't know it was coming. Timing up. Pusha, Pusha winning he's that doing face a great, off. These are just fantastic. The last four or five draws for Pusha. Vecchione looks tired now. Well, they got Smith down there with a the big stick. He better get rid of it. He gives it back. 19 to 15. The Orange are in command in this game. It's the first time you could say either team is in command. They're dictating the tempo, the pace, and the action. Casey Donegan now against Sullivan. Sullivan uh, came up on the free arm. No call. Archer's in front. Syracuse going to take their time now. You don't want to make a bad shot. If you take a shot, make sure it's a good one. And if you if you lose it, then put the pressure on defensively. John Barr. Oh, look at that stutter step move by John. Nobody forcing the shot. No. Nope. Benzer in the crowd. He fed uh, Archer. It's a shot. Donegan is there. But see, he's Syracuse awesome. is beating uh, yeah. Hopkins to the ground. I don't know if now. they're a little more tired or what, but uh, Syracuse has been hustling, getting off the face-offs. The wingmen have been doing a good job, and right there you saw them get that ball. They have had the ball nearly two minutes in this possession. We're going to be under eight minutes here momentarily. Bettinger way out on top. This is a long possession, Dale. Yes, it is. By lacrosse standards. John Barr. Hope check the way. And look, Hopkins is just they're tired. They're fatigued. Now they're missing passes. They're missing right out in front there. You're right. Every loose ball, Syracuse gets to first. And there's the goal. The quick stick by Bettinger from Archer. And it is a five goal lead now. There's the pass back and Bettinger just gets the jump. That's when you talk about fatigue, Dave. It's that quick start and inability to, to pick up and stay with him. And that's exactly what Bettinger did. He got a great jump and they just could not stay with him. I thought that Tony Seaman would call a timeout. When Syracuse had an 18-15 lead, he did not. Now he's taking one at 20 to 15, and uh, I don't know if he can pump him up now. Well, if you're tired, there's not much you can do, and uh, they don't appear to be hustling after the ball as quickly, and and really getting a whole lot of people on the ball as quickly as they did in the first quarter. Whereas Syracuse seems to be able to pick it up a notch. Syracuse had a 15 to 13 lead. Hopkins came back to tie it at the end of the third quarter, but the fourth quarter has belonged to Syracuse. Ryder, Colsey, Ryder, Barr, and Bettinger. And how many times has a great save by Saran preceded the transition and the goal? It, it, as you said, the save and then the beautiful uh, outlet pass. Both goalies have been excellent, but uh, Marcus has not had much help. And. Uh, he stays at 11 saves, does not have one this quarter. There's Tony Seaman, Cortland State grad. Kind the of the cradle, king, cradle of, of coaches. coaches, that's right. At this pace, Syracuse may exceed the eight goals they got in the first quarter. Well, I'll tell you, another one of the keys is, is Fazy right out here now, also getting faceoffs. They've started some great fast breaks. Vecchioni has taken every face off except one. And Fazy lost the ball. Vecchioni lost it. 
gets it back. This is going to be the first time Hopkins has been across midfield and seems like five minutes. Well, they, down by five. They got they got a lot of time because you can score and you can get the ball right back with a faceoff. So I don't think you're going to see him panic. Reardon has it in the corner. Syracuse uh, extending their defense. Yeah. Now Reardon's going to go one on one. He's got no help behind him, so Reardon is. Oh, that's a ward. Bugavan is defending. There's Reggie Thorpe now, and they'll go back again behind to Kelly. Whittick on Kelly. I think he took the no no looker once on Whittick. Good defense by Sergio Schuster and, yep. and Cavallero. Cavallero gets free. Hopkins will keep it. 6:39 remaining. They like to make that. They'd like to dip that shoulder and bring the, the free arm up and then roll right there. Good help and Saran comes up with it. Out to Beardsley. It's all going Syracuse's way. The field must feel like it's going downhill now for Syracuse. Beardsley, the feed. Nice the look. Think about that is now you got a big stick down there. To and here's the hustle to the ground ball again. Yep. Be a kick. That was kicked by 44. Failure to advance. And the call becomes. Failure to advance. Yeah, they didn't get. They got 10 seconds to get it out of there, and it was uh, incumbent upon them to clear it out. And when it becomes a ground ball, you still have to get it out of there. Now Syracuse has it. Clock winding its way down to six minutes. Now Holes they got it. it. Now they have to. Now Hopkins has to be a little bit, I think, more aggressive to try to take the ball away. Not that they haven't. They they played very well. Here is Ryder back on. Now Colsey. Tough to pick a hero of this game. And Fietta, he had a key goal. Syracuse now under five and a half minutes to go. They have owned the ball here for the last five, six minutes. Fourth quarter has been theirs, and they're going to take a little time off the clock. They've taken almost a minute off now. Here comes Ryder. Backed up by Archer. That's the backup. Now, they weren't getting as many of those in the first quarter. Now they're even hustling and getting better results as this game went on. Yeah, I think since the 10 minute mark, Hopkins has had one shot. Yeah, well, they've had two shots this quarter, so you're probably right. Here's Colsey. Doesn't have the angle yet. He's going to keep keep working it. They know the clock is the only enemy now for the five goal lead. Outside of Finn. Four and a half minutes to go. Colsey's a bad one. Finn accelerates and scores. No, it's wide. But you see, there's the backup. Now you don't see those blue shirts firing out and getting back there. Syracuse dominating this fourth quarter. Roy I thought, Colsey. I really thought it might be the last shot. He, he is a bull, this guy. Takes a nice shot. Marcus saves it. The rebound comes out. And Marcus gathers it in. He raked it in. Now here's his outlet to Kelly. Syracuse looking to make sure everybody picks up the right guy. Open. Oh, big stick. Tried to shoot before he had it. Evans was open, 26, but now uh, Syracuse turns it the other way. They were vulnerable there for a minute. Finn with it now. The clock is under four minutes to go. Dom Finn cuts to the middle, and he scores! <laughs> Dom Finn just on a sprint, and then he moves. Watch, look and see the move right there. We caught a little on the on the throat from Jacobs but he takes the high left handed shot and you can see the shoulders of the goalie watch watch him kind of shrug up trying to not there so Syracuse has scored the last six goals unanswered last year they got eight unanswered in the fourth quarter in the NCAA semifinal game look at look at this this is I don't know who this is on but 
Syracuse going to lose it, but that's hustle. There were blue jerseys and white all over, but Syracuse hustling for every ball. Dale, the 21 goals Syracuse has scored equals the most they have ever scored against Johns Hopkins, and they got 21 last year. Yeah, there aren't many people that get that many goals against Hopkins. They turn it around and go back to the goalie. Charlie Lockwood has not scored in the game, and he has scored in every game this season. Lockwood and uh, Colsey also had that distinction. They have scored. Now 3.25 to go. Oh. Reardon. He's, he really wards. Wodkowski has had a pair of scores in the game. Loses the ball. Reardon picks it up, loses it. Thorpe is in his face. Kugavan. Thorpe and Reardon. A little joy. Well, Thorpe's going to come back out and <laughs> talk a little bit. You might see, want to explain the war. Well, you can't really push anybody's stick. Now, that stick's underneath, but see, right there, when he, he, he pushed the, you can't push the opponent's stick or the opponent like that. And then there's another one. Yeah, with the free arm. Here's Reardon again. Oh, now he's got Beardsley on him. Lost the angle as he spun free for the moment against Beardsley. Beardsley will take a penalty. Beardsley distracted him enough. Reardon and Thorpe still getting tangled up. Here's a feed and a score. So Piccola breaks the long drought for Johns Hopkins. It is 21 to 16. There's, uh, there's Thorpe on the side there. You can see the goal that Okoli, no, he fed him. Now this is after the goal. Yeah, there's a little, a little pushing and shoving. Pushing back. Yeah, come on, come on, he says. I want to, oh, oh, kind of a left cross. 2.40 to go, Syracuse 21, Johns Hopkins 16, Vecchioni. Nice crossover against Fazy. Hopkins looking to catch lightning here in the closing two and a half minutes. Shot is high, but this time they do back it up. Guess how many faceoffs do Ben? 41. I'm not going to let yeah. you. I'm not going to leave you in the dark. <laughs> 23 to 18. Syracuse in that department. Thorpe and Reardon and a flag flies after the play. Those two have been going at it for the last couple of minutes. Let's see. Uh, suffice it to say that these guys are, are not going to go to each other's graduation. And that was Wittick. Let's see. Uh, I'll sort this one out. And these two schools may yet meet again this season in the NCAA tournament. Yep. Good possibility. Illegal check. So Syracuse still has a man. They, they, they're two men down while they're not. Timeout Syracuse. Two minutes and nine seconds to go, and Roy Simmons takes a timeout. What do you suppose uh, he'll be talking about? He'll just be saying, keep your composure, keep your cool. We got a man down here. Let's, uh, let's keep up the good work. We talk about penalties, uh, man up goals. Uh, Hopkins has been very, very effective. Three out of four. We're going to take a look at that hit again, and the truck likes it. We'll replay it. There's the hit. And from another angle. With the audio. Syracuse has been, I don't want to say criticized, Syracuse has been said, well, you, you know, they knock too many people down, they, uh, they use the body quite a bit, and, and it is their style. I was just going to say they've only had four man down opportunities uh, this game, but they have given up four, I should say, and Dick Hopkins is converted on three of four. That's really good. But Syracuse has been up into double figures during this season, and so I guess for them that's very good. Syracuse one of three man up, so not actually a lot of time served penalties. Strictly speaking, now I'm sure. Watch, Reardon's going to want to score one here, and Two 
That's a pass. And the Orangemen will get it back. 158. Chris Saran equaling his season high. Season average saves. Laser just sprints. Charlie knows he hasn't scored, I think. <laughs> Draws a double team momentarily. Here's John Barr. Little bloop for Finn. Down to a minute and 25 to go. Archer's uh, trying to deny Kelly. Kelly taking it on all the way against Finn, who's pushing him. Oh, and nice save. save. You got a stick on that. The push will go against Dom Finn. We're going to call a push. Hold. There's the hold. See, so he goes up, over, and then push, hold. So there's the save. He did get a stick on it. Not the net part, but he got the handle on it. So Finn will sit for 30. Fifth up, fifth man up opportunity for Hopkins. They said coming in they were worried about Hopkins man up. It has it's very effective, very efficient. You can see why. There's Piccola. Boy. Makes it 21 to 17. Four out of five, 80 percent on man up. That's a you're lucky. You can't give them too many. Syracuse played that right, not having a lot of penalties. Reardon's going to get the assist as Piccola just popped right down the middle. So here we are now, in the final minute of the game. Reggie Thorpe. Thorpe. Flag down, play on situation. Thorpe gave up the ball. Yeah, he, he but got, defended himself well. Yeah. Well, he, he, got a, he got a slash by Reardon. If you get him on anything but the stick with a one hand check, they're probably going to call a slash. And watch, yeah, that, that wasn't even, he doesn't even have any arm pads either. <laughs> One more goal by Syracuse. They'd have their all-time high against Johns Hopkins. So one of three. And this late arriving crowd had to enjoy this action. They had some scary moments, I guess you'd have to say, at the start. And here they come to their feet to count it down. The end of the regular season in the dome. And it's on to the NCAA tournament for Syracuse. Ryder, who has been superb. Two seconds left. And Ryder may have a Charlie horse, and that is it. Syracuse closes out the regular season with a 21-17 win over Johns Hopkins. We'll be back in the Dome right after this. It was a classic. Syracuse defeating Johns Hopkins 21-17 at the end of the game. Matt Ryder was carried off the field. Just a Charlie horse. He was brought back on congratulating the Hopkins players. Roy Simmons hoisted up on the shoulders of his team. Nice picture. The Hall of Fame coach as the fans salute the team and vice versa. Syracuse completes the regular season at 9-2. One game was not played. It was snowed out. And now it's on to the NCAA tournament as Syracuse uh, goes after yet another national championship. And we'll have quarterfinal round action for you against a yet-to-be-undetermined opponent. Check your local listings for the time and place in your area.
So now speaking for Dale Drypulcher, this is Dave Cohen thanking you for joining us. Once again, the final score, Syracuse 21, Johns Hopkins 17. This has been a presentation of Super Sports and Adelphia Cable Communications.